Columbia University has given pro-Palestinian protesters a new deadline to break down their encampments at the center of campus. Columbia is just one of several growing numbers of schools all across the country where students are protesting Israel's ongoing war in Gaza. CBS's Naomi Ruckham reports tonight. Dozens of tents remain pitched on Columbia University's South Lawn as talks between pro-Palestinian demonstrators and school administrators continue. We chose to reclaim our university for the people of Palestine. Amid negotiations, House Speaker Mike Johnson met with Jewish students at Columbia concerned for their safety and had a message for the university's president. I am here today joining my colleagues and calling on President Shafiq to resign if she cannot immediately bring order to this chaos. For over a week, demonstrators at Columbia have been calling on the school to cut ties with companies that do business with Israel, angry over the war in Gaza. Our core demands are financial divestment, um, so all of the endowment, all of the investments that are complicit in Israeli apartheid and colonization being uh, revoked. In a sign of progress Wednesday, students agreed to scale down their encampment and ban discriminatory language, following a commitment from administrators not to call in police. Campuses across the country are seeing similar protests from California to Massachusetts. Tensions escalated at UT Austin as Texas state troopers moved in on students staging a walkout to occupy the campus South Lawn. Back at Columbia, after moving classes hybrid, the school said the same will apply to this year's final exams. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York.